Alright, man. First reaction, first impression. This whole feels nice. Yes. This whole, yeah, this mode feel nice. Off rip, coming out of the the alleyway. It just feel nice, nimble. But it honestly feels like a like a, a bike, like a regular bicycle. With the way these handlebars are and the way I can, you know. Kind of like what they said earlier, supermoto. But this thing, this thing moves, and it, it doesn't feel too much different from uh, my R6. Besides, my R6 screams like somebody in a horror movie the whole time. Oh yeah, this thing is fun, boy. Hell yeah, this thing is fun. It's fun because oh let me slow it down oh look at leans and everything man this thing is fun yeah it, it, yeah it's okay so it's fun because it feels like a regular bicycle but if you put an engine on it so you know i think you feel super safe on this thing you feel like you're at home it's something that Dad, Dez had told me i feel like you know Anybody that's ridden a bicycle can jump on this thing and feel at home. You just have to get used to it. Yeah, this, this thing moves, dude. I'd get one of these. I'd get one of these. We hit like deep element shit. Yeah, we hit like deep element stuff. And just like get one of these and just act stupid. Like, hell yeah. Come on and move, man. Make this light. It's hot. 100 degrees here in Dallas. This thing is torquey and it's, re and it's ready to go. Sorry, old lady. Wasn't trying to make you feel uncomfortable or anything. I got sun in my eye. I don't know if it's me or if it's everybody, but anytime I ride, I get something in my eye. And my eyes are big. I've always been told it all my life. Jokes, heard it all. What do you want to say? But I get stuff in my eyes a lot. Let's see what we do. Yeah, this thing moves. This thing moves, but it, it moves fun, you know? Not like the super sport bikes where it moves and it's like, what the hell are you slowing down for, you know? And it leans. I feel so good leaning, dude. I feel like I'm on a damn dirt bike, man. But like a, a comfy dirt, dirt bike. So let's see what we can do. Yeah, yeah, we riding this thing. Look at that. Yeah, man. Dip it down. Dip this thing down. It, it leans over, dude. It, it's no, it, it. So that, you know, you don't have to be in a, in a super sport or anything to, to be leaning over and shit. Screen, man I, I can't you know get down and and keep it going you know I get up to like 80 and I'm like ah shit this damn thing's about to tear me the hell up let's see what we can do here I kind of want I kind of want to get on the highway and let this thing loose now Dan said this thing stops at 129 something like that I'm lost as to why they use the R6 engine and made it stop at 129 no point in at all why they should do that. No point at all why they should do that. I couldn't even see a reason. Let's get it, baby! Yeah, 
this thing is fun. We might actually find a nice route back here. Oh yeah, man. Hell yeah. Oh, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. We won't be able to tone it down just a tad bit. This ain't my territory, but it most this looks plush right here, dude. Yo, we've been raised around this area. I've never went down this road. Passed it plenty of times. Never ever went down this road. This road is nice. And we may go for a ride down this road. Cause I feel like I can I can let this thing rip. And I wanna let it rip, but I just don't know this road. But I'm determined to get this thing to 100 miles per hour. Cause as we see, I haven't been able to do 100 miles per hour yet. Simply because we're on the road. And it is not my R6, my R6. Shit, we had 100 miles in like two seconds, but Oh, that is plush. Sheesh. Now these right here is what I'm talking about, boy. Now that is nice. These are plush. Me and my girl might have to, might have to look into, into these. This is nice. Off in the cut. Nice big backyard. Man. Oh, those are nice too, dude. Let me find them. I might have to do a U-turn. I, I need to fuck it. Let's see what we get. So I don't want to speed over the hill. Ooh, see, look, good thing there's a hill and a turn. One of the fault, one of the rules, man. If you don't know the route, you need to be very aware. Cause I would have came over this damn turn, doing like one plus, and this turn would have came up on me. I would have had the, I would have had the knee drag. Let's see. Defeated once again, man. This thing is fun. I, I, this thing is fun. I I recommend this bike for for beginners also, like beginners who you won't get tired of this, bro. You will not get tired of this, bro. And I'm I can assure you that. Like the only reason why you get tired is because maybe you want to do 150, maybe you want to get to like 100 faster. But I mean. I guess I only I, ba I barely go up to those speeds on my R6 and that's really like on roads like this I can get to 100 quickly easy money I just feel like I want to do a wheelie on this thing man it just seems like it's like hey you want to do a wheelie I'm trying to have some fun and I'm like I don't really want to have any fun I honestly want to find a road that I can let this bad boy loose on This would be nice. Coming around here. Oh my god, this would be nice. Yeah, man. Nice twisties coming around here. Shit, dude. Yeah, yeah. I'm most definitely getting the guys together. We're gonna ride this. No doubt we're gonna ride this. Look at these, yeah man, look at that. Lean it, lean it, yeah man. Y'all wanna go get them? Let's go get it, let's go get them. Nah, 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 nah. I love bikes. I love bikes, I love riding. Now I mostly love riding on, on stuff like this. Nice back roads. Unless at night, you know, deers and stuff like that. But nice back roads, dude. Shoot, man, I'm, I'm, I'm getting it. But, I, you know, honestly, this vlog is only supposed to be about 15 minutes. Well, I, this first impression was supposed to be about 15 minutes. But I I don't... This thing is it's comfy, dude. I don't want to get off. I don't want to pull over. You don't put a lot of... A lot of weight on your wrist. Garland Duck Creek. You don't put a lot of weight on your wrist when riding this, man. Wow, that's for sale. I would totally buy that. And just make it look, like, nice like this. Other than like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, maybe live there. But this, 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 it's plush, but this is what I want. I want about half an acre of land and I want to just build onto it. Ah, this is upsetting because I, I want to keep riding this route, man. 
but I, I know I have to turn around. This bike is hella, is hella comfy. It's hella smooth, man. It does. It, it honestly doesn't jerk me around like my R6. Oh, that is plush. I turned too far. And I just got hit in the face box with a bug. My R6 freaking jerks me around, man. That thing wants to go. This thing is turkey too, and it has good torque. But that R6 has the torque and the horsepower. Dang, two of them things? Man, I got it. Dude, I'm doing the wrong things. I'm doing the wrong things in life, bro. Oh, wow, they got the, the, the three wheels. See, I'm trying to live like them. Nice old money. Yeah, lean it, lean it. Yeah, here we go. This, this is how we do it. And it leans over so cool, man. It, it's not heavy. It's not heavy. Of course, my R6 leans over so good, but th th this feels so much lighter than the R6. And of course, I know reasons why. So, you know, people in the, in the comments or anything be like, hey, no dub, blah, 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 blah. R6 has more on it, a uh, bigger engine, you know. But sheesh, dude. I'd, I'd recommend this bike for anybody to learn on. Or not even to learn on, but to like get and go take a class and come out and ride this. It, I don't think it'll kill you. Again, 2010 FZ6, still a 600, but I most definitely don't. I think, dude, I haven't ridden a 300, 400, 500, 650, 200, or 150, or anything like that. But this thing feels good, man. Lean it, yeah, man. Lean it. Let's see if I can. Uh, probably pulling over right here isn't a good idea. I do want to pull over and see if anybody has reached out to me or contacted me. And no, I didn't almost crash. I usually pull over in those lanes so I can see the traffic that's coming towards me. So I hate things coming from behind me. So I'd rather see what's coming towards me just in case somebody's coming around the corner out of control. I don't get ran over from the back. I prefer to see what's coming in front of me. That way I can at least jump out the way. As you can see, I don't need help hitting the curves a little bit too much. Well, we are for the drop of gear. Yeah. Yeah. This, this bike is in control. It's not, out of, it's not out of control at all. One thing I will say. One thing I will say is the wind blows you, blows you around a little bit, a lot more. Oh. more at higher speeds so if you don't know how to ride it probably would spook you you probably would drift off but the wind can, can cause you to drift a little bit um it doesn't necessarily slice through the uh necessarily slice through the wind how you would how you would assume oh yeah clutch the shifting you guys clutch the shifting look 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 look, look at look at my wrist shift gears boom Shift gears, baby. See, like right now the wind is kind of blowing me around, making me sway a little bit. It doesn't slice through the wind. Other than that, this thing is solid, boy. Solid. But well, somebody, but Dad's heavier than me, so he probably he probably helps the bike remain a little bit more sturdy. I'm almost definitely gonna come check these houses out. It's me and my girl looking at getting a place here soon. And 300 grand for this plush lifestyle is not bad. Compared to what you would get in places like Georgia where all the houses look the same. They're made of out of like wood and vinyl. You get like no brick. So you can come through and like drop kick somebody's house and like probably go straight through it. I don't know, I just love a nice sturdy house. I don't wanna feel like my house is cheap. I paid 300 grand for something I want to feel like it's a nice, well put together house. And I'm not saying the houses in Georgia aren't well put together, but shoot, man, I don't know. Shake, 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 shake your booty, hey, shake your booty, hey. Look at this guy. Hey, you mind scooting the hell over? 
Like, what the hell is wrong with people, dude? Like, you clearly see you're like, I don't know. Maybe she's old, and maybe that's why they should hook old people up with uh, like, discounted Ubers. Or maybe even like a, a Uber car for the month. Look, it's the Camaro truck. Hey, Camaro truck. Oh, that was neutral. And we are in neutral. Oh, this light is for us. Let's see what we can do. see something because the braking the braking is good but if it, I don't know it might not just be a thing or I might just talk on the side of my neck but the R6 has like super sports have a lot of engine engine braking engine braking you know of course on the track you don't have to use the brake as much as I let off this damn thing oh there we go I forgot the uh, what you call it it's a little it's a little out of order Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Hey, shake your booty. Shake, 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 shake. They just wanted me to get on the highway with this thing, man, but the route we just took, man, I, I think you guys will see that wasn't even necessary. This thing moves, it leans, and it rides. Run me over. Don't run me over, please. I love you too. It might just be me, but I like to. I like to lean it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to move it, move it. You like to move it. Let the throttle back a little bit. As you guys can hear, it's raving, it's raving, it's raving. Boom. New gear. Boom. You got to Boom. That's a new gear right there, baby. See? That easy, man. Clutch the shifting. Clutch lift shifting. I do it on my bike from time to time. Look, get it up there, get it up there, get it up there. Boom, new gear, baby. And I'm not using. Matter of fact, just so y'all won't think I'm actually using the clutch over here and they're looking at my hand, I'm gonna look at my, you're gonna look at my hand on the clutch. Okay, you hear it, you hear it, you hear it? Boom, new gear. And I, I wanna get a better look at that because that, that road was very, very bouncy. Roll was very very bouncy and I probably bounce with the camera. There's a here goes neutral. Neutral isn't that bad. Finding neutral on a, on a stop bike is always the problem. But how about those clutch of the ships, baby? You like? Oh the infamous water. You don't want to get any of that on your tires, man. It'd be a real bad day. But I got that on the tires and I thought I'm gonna go around this, these curves like this. Skrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
is ready to ride. The power band kicks in. <laughs> Most definitely. Yeah, it's harder to find when they're not moving. Took a nice route. Nice route. Hey, I, was in my GPS. That shit said I was like, damn. I was riding this motherfucker, boy. I think I, um, I 